this Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. I would like to share with you a Goodwill household item haul. So I went to Goodwill um, Monday. Monday. I went to a Goodwill, um, a Salvation Army, and Goodwill Salvation Army, and I think a Village Thrift. Now, um, usually when I go, I love I love to shop for household items, so that's pretty much what I look for when I go to the um, thrift stores. So this time I went to Goodwill. So these are from three different stores. On the bottom shelf was this milk glass punch bowl. Now in the bowl was this here small bowl, as well as eight cups. The eight cups were sold separately, forty nine cent each, and the bowl and the bottom were sold for three ninety nine. So picked it up. I thought it was a really great um, find. I love punch bowls, pitchers, um, platters, plates, dishes. Those are some of the items that I look for when I go to the thrift store. So I um, inboxed the more knows here on YouTube right away because she has a very um, a, she has a wealth of information on milk glass. So when I described the bowl, I sent her a picture. When I described the small bowl to her, she said that. It's the base of the punch bowl. Boom, score, right? So I really was excited to find this. Like I said, there are eight cups on the inside, and they just cook on the side of the punch bowl. Um, the punch bowl is from the 1960s, and it's by Hazel Atlas. Um, I also looked on Pinterest and some punch sets came with 10 cups, so I'm not sure if they actually originally came with 10 cups. Kind of looks like Yep, 10 cups would fit perfectly. Hazel Atlas Caprice World Punch Ball. So this was an awesome find. My next find was this Corningware pie dish. Um, I already had one. I've seen more, um, more of these before, but I didn't think I would need two. And after making the pot pie the other day, I realized I do need two of these. So when I'm making multiple um, dishes that need pie, that need you know, will have to have pie crust or anything, I can have the same kind of dish. So I found that one. And this one I found at the Salvation Army along with this bowl, and they were half off. Um, and this one here, I picked this one up because I have two plates that match this, and I really thought it was really pretty. Nice to go with a plate setting with some match matching. Um, really cool. The next one I found was this. Now, this is from Home Interiors. I used to be a home interior consultant, so... I didn't know right away that it was a home interior until I looked at the bottom. I could either hang it on a wall, but of course I'm going to use it as a platter, as a serving dish. And it's an immaculate shape, really nice. So I picked this one up and I found this one at the Goodwill too. Now the last thing I found and I thought was very cool um, is this. And I found this from the Village Thrift. Now this was, I picked it up on Monday and it was half off, $7.99, so I made it like $4, but it's for shoes, but what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to sit it outside my back door and we can put our garden shoes on here um, when we come in, then I don't have to worry about them getting wet if it rains, as well as I can also just pick it up and bring it in the house and put it by the back door if I like to. So that is my Goodwill haul. Um, for this week, I try not to go very often because um, it could get a little bit addictive. But when I go in, just a couple I tips. Don't get a when basket, I, um, unless the thrift store only has baskets, I usually get the little hand basket. So I'm only getting a couple items, and I'm out the door. Um, I also try to clear out some stuff if I have some items that I'm not using housewear. I try to take them back because maybe I thought it would work. You know, with something that I was going to do in the house. But if it doesn't, after a while, I do just, if I'm not loving it, I will take it back. So just a couple little tips that I use when I go to the thrift store. store. Household item haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.